Well, hello again. Um, this video is going to be is supposed to be short. It is to um, uh, clarify an operation that should be straightforward. It is the profile operation. So what it means is uh, just follow a path and uh, try to cut either on the line, outside the line, or inside the line. However, V-carve bits and um, the uh, ball end, they uh, will change depending on the depth. So the radius of the bit will change depending on the depth. So uh, Muhammad and I made some changes to be able to um, take that into account so we don't have a collision. So uh, let's just try to, um, this is a, a straight cut out uh, a profile operation, cut outside, and we will, um, this is a six millimeter diameter end mill. Uh, oh. I realize we're not seeing that right now. Okay, so this is a six millimeter diameter end mill. And um, the profile operation on that is uh, quite easy. We're going to uh, go down to a depth of minus five, starting the operation at zero. So um, here we go. Calculated just fine. The depth, uh, there is a, it, it is below zero. If we check, uh, and we check on the side, it is below zero. And uh, yeah, no problem there. Uh, we can simulate that rather quickly. And there we go. Um, the original circle is here. As you can see, it didn't cut the circle. It cut uh, around it on the outside. Great. So that works. Uh, so now we change the bit to a V-carve bit. And we'll use a large diameter, so uh, cutter diameter, 20 millimeter. Um, and the depth is going to be 5 millimeter again. So same thing, just different uh, profile outside and everything. Same thing, um, but we're going to calculate the path on this. Path on this is, well, I don't know if it's good or not, uh, but when, if we simulate, the simulation says it goes around, doesn't touch the um, doesn't touch the, uh, the the original curve, and that's exactly what we want. Great! So thanks a lot, Muhammad, for that uh, functionality. Um, now we have uh, the same thing. Um, I think same thing. Let's see. Okay, we'll make it to minus 5 to make it the same. And we have a 20 millimeter cutter diameter here. Uh, but it's a ball nose um, cutter. So let's try that. And it made the uh, path. Let's try to make the simulation. And once again, it's perfect. Uh, the circle that we have is here. It didn't it didn't um, it didn't damage my inside and now I can uh, have cut all the way around it and it's perfect so now the uh, the um, uh, cutter operation the cutouts uh, or the um, profile uh, take into account the uh, cutter diameter as it plunges so uh, if it doesn't plunge uh, far enough to get the full width of the cutter then it will adjust to uh, make a tight fit around or uh, around the path or uh, I suppose inside the path let's check it out I, I didn't uh, verify so profile inside and calculate the path and simulate that operation. 
yeah, so it worked uh, as well inside. All right, so I hope this helps. Um, again, we're looking for people who want to um, either give some feedback. Uh, we're available on uh, the Matrix uh, channel on Blender Cam. Um, we are a small group of contributors who try to improve Blender Cam and to make uh, things um, make it do things that it wasn't meant to do in the beginning. Uh, we've succeeded in doing a few things like that. And uh, I will uh, try to post a few other features that are new um, to uh, 2021, but uh, we often work on something and don't post any uh, functionality videos. So this is a uh, subscribing is a good way to get in touch with the new features. Have a great day.